Alright, welcome to the uh, LED flashlight bonanza. It's going to be a multi-part video. As time goes on, I'm going to be modding some flashlights and just talking about LEDs in general. Um, a lot of people mod LED flashlights. You know, kind of like we did with hot rods back in the day. Take a small, cheap car, shove a giant engine in it, and go fast. Well, it's the same with LED flashlights. You can buy a Maserati. It's already got everything in it. Already goes fast and looks nice. Well, here's an example. This is a Maglite XL50 LED flashlight. It's 105 lumens. Got a runtime of 40 hours plus. Who cares? Why spend $30 on a flashlight? Well, this flashlight is extremely high quality. It's made in the United States, which, uh, well, it's important to me. It's heavy duty aluminum, it's waterproof. I believe it's got a Cree LED, which is made in Durham, North Carolina. It's got a lot of light output. 105 lumens. 30 bucks. Here's a Coast. Yep, there goes all that. LED lenser. It's about 40 bucks. Again, it's 104 lumens. Very bright, usable light. Outside, these will shine down the street. All right. Still, tell me why I'm spending forty dollars on a flashlight. What do I need LED for? What's wrong with what I've had all this time? Well, other than the fact that a quality LED, like the five millimeter Crees in this little guy here, which was twenty nine dollars, will last for a hundred thousand hours. 100,000 hours, if you do some quick math in your head, is a long time. Months. Years. But still, why? Why spend that much money? Take this one, for instance. Let me put that in the glove box of your car with some quality batteries in it and lithium ion or some really good alkaline. Here we get in trouble. You can stay outside all night with this flashlight on all the time. And it won't break. Even in the rain. Even underwater. This is a flashlight I picked up from the dollar store. I found out about these flashlights from another YouTube user, Vegmatic1966. It was a dollar. It's powered by three AAA batteries. It's got three 4.8 millimeter wide angle LEDs. Now he did a mod on one of these with Cree LEDs. It's come out really good. And you know something? This flashlight works. So why pay? more. Well, it's made out of plastic. These are Chinese made LEDs that will probably last a thousand hours, maybe. Sure, it'll stay on all night. Maybe in the water. But, it's plastic. If you drop it too far, it's probably done. But it works. And you know something? It was a dollar. So you could buy 30, and although it's not as bright as these, still got a flashlight that will run on one set of batteries. Who knows? We'll test it. I'm just going to shoot off the hip and say 24 hours. Now this is another flashlight I picked up at the dollar store for a dollar. Uses the same setup, three 4.8 millimeter wide angle LEDs. 
Not as bright as the other ones, believe it or not. I don't know why. Probably a bad batch. These LEDs are really blue and nasty. And even with new batteries, you probably can't see it there. One of the LEDs isn't getting full voltage. Probably a contact issue. Well, I don't have to mod these flashlights. I don't think I can get a brighter LED than this one. I was going to buy another one and put Krees in it. But I think these are. Or something comparable. The color output's the same. They're very bright. And I'm sure I could get a better bulb than the one that's in this one that's got more than 105 lumens. I don't need it any brighter. If I need a brighter flashlight, I'll go to one of my LED spotlights that has almost a thousand lumens. Well, I found this in Home Depot for five bucks. This is a Never Ready LED spotlight, lantern, whatever you want to call it. You're all familiar with this shape. It uses a six volt lantern battery. They normally come with a really crappy halogen bulb in them. This one, look at that, three 4.8 millimeter LEDs. I would judge to say these are better LEDs than the ones in these dollar store flashlights. A little bit wider. Puts out a decent amount of light. Keep in mind we're talking about five dollars including the battery. And according to Everetti with the Everetti battery in it. It lasts 65 hours. 65 hours. If you work at night, you work 8 hours a night, all week, you could use that flashlight throughout your entire shift on one battery. $3.97. So we're going to go into a couple things in the next few videos. Uh, the efficiency of LED light versus compact fluorescent and others like that. And we're going to mod some of these little guys. I know it's already been done. And I'm using the exact same LEDs as Vegmatic 1966. In fact, I got the LEDs from him. But I bought two of each. Well, because they were a dollar. So we're going to leave one of them with the factory LEDs. We're going to change out the LEDs in the other one. Same with this one. And I got this little puck light too, which we're going to work on. The nice thing about these for modding is that they literally fall apart when you open them up. It's not hard to get the circuit boards out or desolder the LEDs. These puck lights are kind of old news, but you know what? They're pretty useful. This one's got three really crappy Chinese LEDs in it. Look, they're not even strong enough to wash out the CCD on my camera. But you know something that puts out light? It's got this nice double stick tape on the back, which I'm sure will come loose after a couple hours. But that can be replaced with some good quality 3M stuff, pretty inexpensively. And, well, it's just a tap light, like it says. With three AA batteries, it'll probably run for 40 hours, who knows? Even if it was 20. I'm not going to leave it on. It's going to have a power outage or a hurricane like we do down here. Are you going to read by it? No. It would be good in a bathroom or a closet, hallway, stairs, see where you're going. So yeah, I got another one of those too, so we're going to we're gonna hack them. I'm going to hack this bad boy too, with some Cree LEDs. Because even with these Chinese ones, the reflector gives it a pretty impressive amount of light. We're talking about 90 milliamps. Not even really, 75 milliamps, less than 100 milliamps of power for a decent amount of light. A 65 hour rated runtime. And it apparently floats, allegedly. So stay tuned, we're going to do some hacking. And we'll go into depth on some other LED lights. I'm building some modules for fish tanks right now, so I'm going to run all of my fish tanks off LED. 
and uh, these all run on 12 volts. And I'm going to show you the difference between these two guys. You'll probably be amazed. This one is made with some cheap Chinese eBay type 5mm LEDs. This one we use Cree C503Cs. You'll be amazed at the difference. So stay tuned and we'll get to hacking.